Hello and welcome to Darth Snoogan's Toy Reviews. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the new cartoon collection Skeletor from the uh, Master Universe Origins line. This one's pretty cool. Uh, we've seen a lot of versions of Skeletor. And we're finally getting, uh, I would say, a Mattel proper 5.5 inch, technically 6 inch, Skeletor, uh, representing the cartoon line. They did do one in the classics, uh, and we've seen Super Vis Heaven produce one. Uh, but if you're a Mattel purist for your He-Man stuff, uh, like I tend to be, you're real happy to get this one in your collection. So yeah, if you've uh, followed along with the other other videos I've done with uh, He-Man and Man-at-Arms and Beast-Man, now we finally have Skeletor. Uh, I believe this, this is technically Wave 2 of the cartoon collection. Uh, even though we see two of the four figures here, they released... Uh, He-Man and Beast-Man in Wave 1, and those were mixed with uh, some other uh, the fan favorite figures. And then now we've got uh, Man-at-Arms and Skeletor with some other figures. So technically it's Wave 2. Uh, I don't even remember which wave it is as far as the overall Origins line. What is it, like 15, 16? So I don't know. If it, there's so many. Uh, but yeah, so this is really cool. Skeletor, Evil Lord of Destruction. We've got the classic He-Man Master Universe logo from the original cartoon series, 80s Adventures. We got the uh, cartoon collection. And, uh, you know, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it before, but I do love how they did the uh, cartoon logo to represent uh, the old Filmation logo, which is fun. Nice little nod. On the back, and let me raise this up so you can see. We got some pretty cool artwork here saying as seen on Masks of Power. Uh, includes comic book, modernizing and celebrating the original 80s Master Universe animated series. Pretty cool. And if I can get a better scan to overlay here so you can see this image a little bit better, I will. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. Um, on the back... It shows Swap Head with Mass of Power. Now, in this episode, Mass of Power, there were these two additional uh, masks that Skeletor uh, was after. So that's cool. We'll check that out. And if I can find some additional images or maybe even a video clip from this uh, episode of Masters of the Universe, we will add that into the video. So, yeah, uh, enough talking about it. Let's go ahead and get this guy out of the package. Uh, I'm anxious to get him out, look at his accessories, and compare, compare him to uh, our other Skeletors. Just like with uh, the Man-at-Arms, there was absolutely nothing holding him inside the little uh, uh, little plastic uh, prison there. He uh, <laughs> He just popped right out, so that's cool. I really uh, I dig the build on this. It feels nice. It's got a, a really good quality to it. I really I like the way the armor is done. You can see here the little uh, sash thing doesn't have a uh, a little thing to de detach it. So an only way to take it off is actually pop off uh, his torso there. So that's cool. Uh, you don't have to worry about it falling off at any point. And then his armor doesn't have those regular straps. It just hooks there. So that's a nice, nice update. I kind of wish that they had done that with the uh, regular Origins figures. But now we're, we're, uh, we're making improvements as we, as we go, I guess. And I really like the head sculpt. Let's bring that in a little closer. Maybe a zoom will be better here. Let's see. Yeah. The only thing it needs is a little wash. Just a little dark wash to bring out some of these details like the teeth. Uh, but other than that, 
I really, really dig the sculpt. Um, you know, comparing it to the Super 7 vintage style figure, I don't know that this one's better. Uh, but it's definitely a nice sculpt. I like the way the, the actual skull design looks. It looks more like the cartoon than the original toy. So that's kind of neat. As you can see also here on his armor, he doesn't have uh, uh, the like bat emblem that goes around. It's just plain, just like the uh, cartoon series. So yeah. Overall, this is a really nice looking figure though. Uh, the purple's a little lighter than maybe it should be. I don't know that that would be a problem for most people. I actually like the color choices that they've used on these um, cartoon series or cartoon collection figures. They don't match 100% to the actual cartoon, but they're different and they make these figures stand out against the other Origins figures. So let's zoom back out here. All right, so what else came with our Skeletor here? Uh, we've already seen this before, but this is Wizard's Wizard, the comic book that came with uh, all the other figures here, I guess with him in Man at Arms at least. Yeah, pretty cool. Showing you uh, some stuff about those massive power. Cool little comic. We've got our diagram, which I don't know why I like these. I don't, honestly, <laughs> I think you could sell a book that's just nothing but these diagrams in printed form. It'd be really cool. Yeah, so when you can take the head, the arms, uh, the feet, and then you can pop them off at the waist. Uh, maybe I just appreciate the work that went into actually creating these. And I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. If you if you collect those and keep those around, let me know. Uh, I also like to keep the uh, card backs too. So let me lower this down and we're going to get down to his level. All right. So here we are with Skeletor holding his uh, Havoc staff and his version of the Power Sword. As you can see, we've got the uh, the two masks down here. This is a This is a very nice looking figure. Um, it's really hard to, I mean, there's not, there's not a lot to say about it. I do like it. I like the build of it. I like the differences that it has with, you know, our origins. I like what they were going for. It is, a, I mean, it's plain. It's not, it's not a very elaborate figure. Um, I don't know. I, I think, I think the best way really to do this is to just compare it to our origins and the super seven figure. Let's, let's start with the super seven. And the reason why is because they're both based on the animated show. And let's bring it in here. So I'm not a huge fan of these super seven figures. Uh, I, I appreciate what they did. And then here's the power sword that comes with him. You know, I appreciate what they meant and how they got us from not having any He-Man figures to the Origins line. Because let's be realistic, if Super 7 didn't make those retro style figures, it's like they were testing the waters. If, if they hadn't done that, we most likely would have never gotten the Origins line. Um, yeah, so I appreciate them for what they are. They're not great. But there are some standouts in that in that series. And I will say Skeletor, not because this is a great figure and all, but the head sculpt alone uh, is probably my favorite of all the head sculpts in that whole entire uh, retro line that they did. Because it's great. Uh, it looks so much like our vintage style face. But they left it all yellow to look like what the cartoon series was. Uh, we've got a little more accurate version of the Havoc staff. 
Uh, they, you know, kept everything all basic on his on his armor and boots and everything. They simplified Skeletor. I don't like this color blue that they used. I don't think that makes any sense. It, it doesn't match up with uh, most versions of Skeletor that we've seen. So you can see what Mattel was doing. They basically, you know, was like, no, this is our character. Let's improve this. Let's make this better. And I think they did a great job here. Uh, I would say, though, that the face on the Super 7 version with the teeth being more visible makes a lot more sense. And I don't normally customize my figures, but I may even do a, a, a black wash on his face just to bring out those teeth a little bit. So, yeah, stay tuned. You may see that on my channel because that is uh, that is a major miss on Mattel's part to not do that. It makes no sense because it's a great sculpt. They did a great job on the face, but they just left out, <laughs> left out a little bit of paint for his teeth. So, yeah. So let's, uh, let's bring in our origins figure. So here's our regular origin Skeletor. This is the very first release with this uh, ugly face that everybody hates with the mouth open. Uh, it doesn't bother me that much. I, I typically don't display it with this one because uh, I've, I've gotten so many different Skeletors out of this line. I tend to put, uh, I think it's the extra head that came with the battle armor Skeletor. I usually put that one on here. Uh, but as I've been going through, I've been just kind of putting them all back to their original forms and what they original accessories. And uh, this is so this is uh, our first Skeletor. I do like the Skeletor, though. And uh, yeah, he was the, a great progression from our vintage figure to get a modern version. This was great. Uh, head sculpt, not uh, we're just going to pass on that. Because they did improve it, but the figure itself is great. Even keeping the the left hand, the open hand, instead of giving us double fists or double gripping hands like what they do now with all the figures, uh, they even gave us uh, that kind of hand. It didn't make sense because he couldn't hold both his weapons at both you know at the same time. So they probably should have given us a a, a closed or gripping hand with this figure, but they didn't. And then we did see additional hands pop up with uh, the deluxe versions. And yeah, so they made improvements, basically running improvements with, with this line. Skeletor did get better. I never did pick up the reissue version with the different head sculpt. I didn't see a need to because I had so many of them. Same with the He-Man figure. Uh, you know, I got used to that... Uh, that new head sculpt and it didn't bother me as much. So I kept him as was, well, you know, as he, as he came in the package, but back to comparing these two, it's, it's neat how much of a contrast there is here as far as color. Uh, even the way the weapons are designed. Now, this is the newer style power sword, which I don't particularly like, I prefer the classic uh, animation style power sword, which is what uh, our cartoon collection figure came with here. And also the one that the Super 7 figure came with is that classic style uh, power sword. So I think that, that uh, that's an improvement. I'd like to see this one being used more in the line instead of this one with the uh, the open portion of it. I don't hate it, but I do prefer the other one. So let's uh, let's get the origins one out of the way. Let's uh, take off his weapons here, and let's talk about the masks. So, what's really cool about this is they're basically additional heads. Uh, I'll, I'll find some more information because I don't remember what these are called, but I know it's like a king, and I think one's either supposed to be like this one's supposed to be like either his wife or his sorceress or something of that nature i'll find the information and put it on the screen it's a 40 year old cartoon i don't remember all their names and stuff but 
<laughs> it's it's weird and wacky, but it's a it's a fun accessory that Skeletor gets two additional heads. So yeah, um, these are ripe for some customizing. If uh, if you got a couple of extra bodies laying around, you want to make some additional characters. These two uh, will be great to do. <laughs> it's really weird. But how great is that? That uh, they're giving us just a couple of weird masks that uh, you can swap on as uh, additional heads. Yeah, I, I really like this head sculpt. I just wish the uh, the teeth were vis visible. So, yeah, let's let's bring back our origins figure one real quick. Let's see how well these match up because I'm interested to see what this head looks like on this body. Now I don't know how well the, the camera is going to show you, but the the color doesn't match very well. But it still looks pretty good. So if you were, if you're not a fan of this new buck, you can uh, always swap it out and use this body and just put the armor and stuff on this one. Now I don't know about the boots. I know with uh, man at arms, I was able to swap them out. Oh man, that's hard to do. Let's see how well these swap. All right, so. <laughs> yeah, the new boots are a little bit taller. Let's move this out of the way so you can see. But you can swap out all the parts. It is possible. So if you don't like this version of the blue and you prefer those legs, you know what? It's dealer's choice. That's the great thing about these. You can just pick and choose how you want to display all your figures. Easily customizable. Let's look at our regular Origins head on the cartoon collection body. Uh, that one, I don't think matches up as well because it looks like he's got a short, shorter neck. And that's just due to the build. This one's a much taller. Fun, though. Yeah, these are great. I really dig the variety here. So what is this, like eight Skeletors now in the Origins line? Eight, nine, I don't I don't know. I, I, I think I have all of them except uh, Dragon Blaster Skeletor. And that's just one, that's just been one that, I don't know, I, I want it. I just, every time I go to pick up a figure, Always find something else I want better and choose to spend my money on something else other than the Dragon Blaster figure. Um, I'll get it eventually. No rush. So yeah, let's look at this Havoc staff real quick. Cause I'm I'm not a I'm not a huge fan. I don't like this bulbous part in the back. Uh, I prefer it to be more defined like this. And even that. Even the Super 7 one is not quite so big. I mean, I I would have been fine with this, but this thing is... Yeah. It just looks weird. I'm not I'm not bothered by the size of it overall. I just wish the the uh the skull part this big round back part of it wasn't so big it just it looks cartoonish which i mean i guess if that's what you're going for because this is a cartoon series <laughs> figure you've succeeded because that is big and stupid looking so i don't know uh i, I wish this wasn't this way and i'm sure there's people 3d printing better ones right now as i'm talking about it but yeah, I do dig the figure overall. 
uh, I'm looking forward to all the other figures uh, that we're probably going to get in this line. Uh, the only the only real negative thing I can say here is I feel like that, uh, and I know a lot of people have commented and said stuff about this, uh, not necessarily on my channel, but other YouTubers I've watched, and and I have to agree with them. It, it does feel like the regular Origins line has been abandoned. Um, we're not getting any retail releases on anything. Apparently, everything's going to be Mattel Creations releases. There's so many good figures that we still need. Cyclone, uh, Rio Blast, uh, Extendar. I mean, really, there's too bad. We still haven't gotten too bad. We got a Masterverse version of Too Bad, but we still haven't got Too Bad in our Origins line. How is that? How is that even possible? So yeah, I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching another video. Be sure to sound off in the comments and let me know your thoughts. Um, yeah, <laughs> another uh, another Skeletor. But I think uh, this is a this is a good uh, good figure. Skeletor says like and subscribe. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.